Hello friends, today I will show you all how to make the perfect cup of coffee. Now we're all in college and all of us are probably avid coffee drinkers. So I want you to understand how to make the perfect cup so you will be able to enjoy your much needed caffeine every day. So first, <laughs> you must pick the right beans, use pure cold water, the correct amount of coffee, and if you would like, accessorize your drink and make it fun. If you follow these four things, I promise you will have much more enjoyment out of this wonderful cup that we all hold so dearly. So first, you must pick the right beans. Now there's so many different kinds of beans out there and what I would suggest is just to try some different blends, maybe four or five simple blends. You can do this by just going to Starbucks and trying theirs or maybe the coffee shop at this school or you can go out and purchase them on your own if you are more crafty and home-like, so that's always fun. Uh, once, you, <laughs> once you get those beans, I would suggest having them grinded as soon to the brewing time as possible. You wanna make sure that your coffee is fresh and if possible, purchase new coffee every one to two weeks just to keep uh, your coffee fresh and the taste will definitely be increased. Next, you must use cold filtered water. You can use this out of a water bottle or if you have maybe a Brita, fi Brita filter but it's very important to use cold, pure water. This is one of the greatest mistakes that I made as a coffee drinker. I was just recycling my water and using warm, old water, and I couldn't figure out why my great coffee was turning out really bitter and sulfurous. So I would definitely suggest using cold, pure water. That will make a huge difference in your coffee. And next, I, you need to measure the perfect amount, oops, the perfect amount of coffee to water. Experts say that you need to use at least two tablespoons, which is what is shown here, to six ounces, which is what is shown here. Um, and that will make the correct amount. If that is a little bit too strong or bold for you, just increase the amount of water that you're using in your coffee maker. So after you pour your water and put your coffee in your filter in your machine, press the button and your Coffee will come out in five to six minutes, maybe even less depending on your machine. And after that, I would suggest using a glass mug. Probably uh, what I've heard is the deeper the mug, the more heat that it holds. And if you wanna keep your coffee warm for the longest amount of time, that is uh, the greatest thing that you can do. And next, if you do not like just black, plain coffee, which some people who do, I admire you, way healthier, good for you, but I personally, I have not come to that point in my coffee lifetime where I could just drink that coffee black. So if you're like me, and you're a sinner, please <laughs> use what I like to call well, I like organic just because I'm a little bit of an organic person. But if you would like to use half and half or milk or non-fat milk, whatever is your preference, I would probably start out with half and half and then just wean yourself off of that as time goes by. But what I would say is just start measuring that amount starting at, you know, the smaller the better. You don't want to wash out your coffee. So if you can start out with... Uh, with just a little bit, maybe a teaspoon, tablespoon, and then work your way up. Also, one of my greatest secrets is using a frother, and this is a little machine that makes your coffee nice and warm and gives it some froth. I wish I had one here with me at college, but you know, I am on a budget, so I can't afford that right now. But that definitely increases your, um, your taste in your coffee. So you pour that in. And then last, if you like your coffee a little bit sweet, use some sugar. Just I would start with a packet and maybe just start half of that and then work your way up if you like it even sweeter. So this is what I would say is the best way to create your perfect cup of coffee. And creating this is so simple and you guys don't settle for a mediocre cup of coffee. Coffee is supposed to be fun, be passionate about it, enjoy it every day. <laughs> and it's so much more than a trend. It is basically an institution for a great lifestyle. 
So pick up your cup every day, sip and enjoy. <laughs>